All right, you little mathematicians. Finally, on to dividing fractions part three, which is dividing a fraction by another fraction. So back to our definition again. Dividing a fraction is the same as multiplying by the fraction's reciprocal or uh, what you might also call the multiplicative inverse. And the reciprocal is when you switch the numerator and the denominator. But before we just get to the point where we can do that function, I want us to be able to still draw pictures to help us solve these. Pictures show that we really understand. So looking at the problem, 3 fourths divided by 1 eighth. Here we have a pizza that's carved into fourths. There are four pieces, right? And we have colored in, shaded in three of them. Now to divide that by 1 eighth, I need to see how many eighths there are in those three fourths. So I drew these extra two lines, and now we've carved the pizza into eight slices, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we're seeing how many of those eighths there are in the three-fourths that we shaded. And we can see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So you see, this is a way of solving the problem without actually doing any real math, right? It's just representing it visually, which is pretty cool. Now, to demonstrate that the uh, multiplying by the reciprocal method does work, We've got 3 fourths divided by 1 eighth equals 6 up here. And now I've shown 3 fourths multiplied by the reciprocal of 1 eighth, which is 8 over 1. And that should also equal 6. 3 times 8 is 24. And 4 times 1 is 4. Because you, when you're multiplying fractions, you just multiply straight across. And of course, 24 divided by 4 is in fact 6. Now once we really understand this, we're free to stop using the pictures and just do things with math. So, if we're dividing 2 fifths by 4 fifteenths, we know that's the same as multiplying 2 fifths by the reciprocal of 4 fifteenths, which is 15 fourths. We're going to multiply straight across and get 2 times 15 is 30, over 5 times 4 is 20, and we should be able to simplify that. Excuse me, I've run out of room here. We should be able to simplify that, divide the numerator and the denominator by 10, and we should be able to simplify that to 3 halves. All right, so we understand that multiplying by the reciprocal works when we're dividing by a fraction. But why? Let me try to explain this to you. So first, you know, when we're doing just something like 3 divided by 1, we know we're just looking, we have three things, like let's say we have three pizzas. And uh, we're trying to see how many groups of one are there. Well, of course, there are three. But what if we're doing something like three divided by one half? A lot of people mistakenly think three divided by one half, that means we're wondering what's one half of three. Um, but that is incorrect. Uh, to find one half of three, you would multiply three by one half. What 3 divided by 1 half means is just like when we did 3 divided by 1, we were wondering how many groups of 1 are there in 3. Um, well, now we're doing how many groups of 1 half are there in 3. So we've cut these pizzas in half, and there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 halves. So as you can see, 3 divided by 1 half, it means we're dividing the pizzas up into smaller numbers because 1 half is a smaller number than 1. So if we're dividing them into smaller numbers, then we should get more, our answer should be bigger, not smaller. To illustrate this further, what if we were dividing 3 by 1 third? Now what we're wondering is, how many thirds are there in 3? We're cutting these pizzas up into smaller and smaller slices. So as you can see, there are 9 thirds. And that makes sense because when we're cutting the pizzas into smaller pieces, there are more of them. And now, to me, this is pretty cool. When I asked in class, a lot of people were trying to do multiplying by the reciprocal when I would look at division problems, but nobody could explain why. I would ask, why does that work? Why does that work? That's the point of the pictures. And this is what real mathematicians do. They don't just memorize little functions like, oh, you just multiply by the reciprocal. They need to understand why that works. And if you guys really understand that, then you're going to go much further in your 
exploration of mathematics. So I think this stuff is really cool. I hope you do too. Thanks a lot.